Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're doing fine. Today we're going to take a look at the BT model Saver Tiger. But before that, if you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell down below so that you'll be able to get notified when I have uploaded a new video. Okay, so here we have the kit all built up with some panel lining and a lot of exerted effort when building this kit. So this kit is a knockoff version of the Kozobukiya Saber Tiger. And since it is a knockoff version, it does come with issues, but it has a couple of good things about this kit. So First, let us talk about uh, the issues. So, the main issues of knockoff versions, model kit knockoff versions, are the fittings. So, it has a lot of fitting issues, a lot of pegs that needs sanding, scraping, both female and male pegs. So, it would be better if you're going to sand both male and female pegs. Um, if the parts doesn't want to go together, please don't force anything for you to avoid breakage, to avoid the pegs from breaking, to avoid the plastic from having stress marks. So yeah, so let me talk about the torso section. So the torso is made up of three sections. So we have here the be the I mean the chest the belly and the waist section so it is divided into three parts so when connecting the belly and the waist so you need to be very careful because the peg that connects these two section is very tight so if you're not going to sand the peg when turning the waist side to side you uh, the plastic will twist and you might end up breaking the peg and you don't want to do that so what i did here is this so let me show you the manual for me to be able to explain this well so according to manual we have here the torso made up of three sections so this is the waist the belly and the chest section so the joint that connects the waist to the belly so the peg of this is facing downward so you need to connect the peg here on the female peg what I did uh, when building the belly section these two main piece here where the other smaller parts connects so if you can see this is the peg this peg that facing downward so this the peg is made up of these two pieces com combined together so just glued this piece together the reason for that is to reinforce the strength of the plastic to avoid the plastic from twisting and from breaking so yeah then a little bit of sanding so you really need to exert a lot of effort for this kit if you want a good result and then um, the articulation when it comes to the four legs so both uh, left and right so here we have the legs straight up in a straight posi position so if you're going to articulate the elbow so the feet or this um, armor part will slide it has a sliding gimmick oops this piece uh, falls apart okay so this um, armor part should slide but when putting it back to its original position you need to push this piece that slides so the reason for that is for you to avoid breakage from breaking something inside so let me put it back 
uh, real quick. Okay guys, so let us have some quick comparison. Here we have side by side with the Shield Liger. So the Shield Liger is uh, much bulkier than the Saber Tiger, but the Saber Tiger is longer. So let's bring in a Gundam Master Grade so that you'll be able to have a sense of the size of this model kit. Side by side with the Master Grade Gundam. Then with one 144 scaled um, Gundam. Okay, so here we go. Okay, guys, sorry for that. So let us go back. Um, if anything falls up or pops out, just glued it. Okay, so I think that's all for the issues. So let us now talk about the good things about this kit. So of course, this kit is very detailed. The details are very good, especially if you're going to ink the panel lines. And if built right, it feels solid. So what do I mean by building this right? So you need to take your time building this kit, uh, sand the pegs that need sanding. So, uh, if you're able to do that, uh, the kit will be very solid. It has good articulation and tight joints. Yeah. So, if you're not going to sand this kit, the joints will be stupidly tight. Because, since it, uh, because if it's uh, very tight, uh, it tends to puff off. So the plastic quality of this model kit, I think it's good enough, yeah, but of course still it will incur um, stress marks and some breakage if not handled carefully. So yeah, so I think that's all. So just a piece of advice, one advice, so take your time building this kit, don't be lazy. Uh, if the again if the peg needs sanding just sand it for to avoid um, problem in the latter part in the latter part so you will not regret anything don't force anything to avoid breakage yeah if it doesn't fit sand it for it to sit then make sure that you're applying the pressure on the right place the reason for that is for you to avoid um, what we call that stress marks and breakage so um, what do we have here my first plan on this kit is not to include the weapons but since for the sake of this review I built the weapons but I don't want this kit having all of its weapon because for me it looks weak and I want it to look as much as possible as much as possible, uh, I want this kit to look more close to the Raven version. Of course, I need to paint these armor parts here. The four legs and in the hind legs, these armor parts here. So yeah, I think uh, because I think if the Soid has a lot of weapon, I think the Soid is weak. So that's my principle. I don't know ab how about you guys. If you disagree, just leave a comment on the comment section. So, recommendation. Uh, I would not recommend this kit for those who are beginners, for those who are new to this kind of hobby, as much as possible if you are a beginner. But, of course, it will still depend on you. If you still want this kit, then go buy it then go buy this kit go buy it so just um, watch some reviews build process for you to avoid uh, regretting <laughs> regretting your decisions so yeah so yeah that's I think that's all 
and um, guys please support my channel by subscribing uh, and by doing that you'll be able to help me grow this channel and I will be able to bring you more content and yeah I think that's all and I'll be see you I'll be seeing you guys on my next video